In this lesson, we're going to look at the shape of the face and how to get the face looking really 3D from lots of different angles. So what we've learnt before is how to draw an egg on a face looking directly at you. When you're doing a portrait, you really need to know how to be able to draw a head facing any direction. A way to practice this is to get an old magazine with images of people in it and trace the shape of the head. So, for example, you want to find your egg shape. Try and work out where the skull is rather than the hairline. And then see if you can work out where the central line of the face goes. So right down the centre of the nose, centre of the mouth, between the eyes. And then draw another curve line to show where the eye line is. Can you see I've got one curved line going this way and another curved line going that way and my egg shape. Now I could put in the neck, you can just about see it. And if I get a white sheet of paper, you can then see I have the beginnings of this portrait of this man. I now know where to put his eyes, where this point is on his face. So if I were to draw it again, I could draw it freehand, but I now know where that egg shape is. I vaguely know where all the features are gonna go on this face. Because I have my eye line halfway down the face and I have this central line down the middle of the face. So I can then mark in where the eyes would be and where the nose might be. I know that the nose, the bottom of the nose is gonna be about halfway and the mouth just a bit above that. So now I know my face proportions, I can start to build up a face in 3D. The first task I'd like you to do is to look at lots of faces in different magazines. If you don't have any tracing paper, you can use baking paper. Often you can see through baking paper. Or if you want, you can use a newspaper that's in the recycling pile that you're gonna throw away anyway. Then you could draw directly onto the newspaper. and you can then see where those shapes are on each of those people. Once you've got that, again, you could copy it onto a white sheet of paper. What I would like you to do is to create a whole page of egg shapes um, of people's heads and try and see if you can find the front line right down the centre of the face and the eye line which is halfway between the chin and the top of the head. And this is a really good exercise for working out how to draw faces from different angles because you really get an understanding of the shape of the head.